Hello my dear friend, welcome, I'm David Cortez and this is my website www.david-cortez.com In this video I'm going to talk about the integration rules, so let's start here are some of the most common methods for and formulas for calculating integrals. So the power rule, power rule. Integral of x raised to n dx is equal to x raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c, where n is not minus 1. So integral of x raised to n dx is equal to x raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. Exponential rule. Integral of e raised to x dx is equal to e raised to x plus c. So the integral of e raised to x is e raised to x. Trigonometric rules. The integral of sine x dx is equal to minus cos cosine of x plus c. Integral of cosine of x dx is equal to sine of x plus c integral of tan x dx is equal to minus ln of modulus of cosine of x plus c substitution rule so if we have the integral the integral of f of g of x times g prime of x dx we can do the substitution u is equal to g of x so we can write this as integral of f of u du the example is uh, integral of sine of e raised to x times e raised to x dx we do this substitution y equal to e raised to x and this implies that uh, the y is equal to e x dx so we can do the substitution this uh, now is uh, integral of sine of y the y that is minus cos y plus c and y we know that is e raised to x integration by parts integration by parts is uh, this uh, uh, formula so the integral of f of x times g of x dx is equal to f of x times the integral of g of x dx minus the integral of f of prime of x times the integral times the integral of g of x dx and everything is dx so this is an example if uh, we can calculate the integral of ln of x dx thinking it uh, that is multiplied by 1 so we can uh, do integral of ln of x times 1 dx equals ln of x integral 1 dx minus integral ln of x uh, prime times integral of 1 dx dx so it is ln of x 
times x minus integral of 1 over x times x dx, that is x ln of x minus integral of 1 dx, that is x ln of x minus x plus c, that is x times ln of x minus 1 plus c. Partial fractions, this method used when integrating, is used when integrating rotational uh, rational functions like fractions in which both the numerator and the denominator are polynomials. So this is an example we can do here. So integral of 5x plus 1 over x raised to 2 plus 1 dx we can write as integral of 5x 5x raised you know, uh, over x raised to 2 plus 1 dx plus integral of 1 over x raised to 2 plus 1 dx uh, we know that it is 5 over 2 integral of 2x over x squared plus 1 dx plus arctan of x plus c and it is 5 over 2 ln of x squared plus 1 plus arctan of x plus c Trigonometric substitution, this method is used when dealing with integrals involving quadratic expressions in proper integrals. There are, uh, um, these, uh, these are the limits of definite integrals as an endpoint of the interval of integration approaches uh, either a specified real number, infinity, negative infinity, or in some instances as both and the points approach limits. Remember these are just the basic rules and methods. There are many other techniques for more complex integrals such as those involving multivariable functions or complex numbers. Also do not forget that every indefinite integral includes a constant in of integration typically denoted as c. Thank you for watching, see you next time, bye bye!